Hi everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships the YouTube channel and welcome to a new video and welcome to a new question and answer video. Now if you are a, a subscriber to the channel you've probably seen some of these recently. Uh, there is a playlist I put together again as well of kind of commonly asked questions and they are a little bit more detailed so uh, we have a new question. Uh, this is from Marita Nichols. So hi Narita if you get a chance to watch this. Uh, this is actually from one of the more popular Facebook groups, the uh, Carnival Cruises Past, Present and Future group. Now, if you uh, don't know about this group on Facebook, it has uh, pretty close to 250,000 members. It's a very popular uh, group on Facebook. I have one called Cruise Ships and it has 10,000 members. So if you want to join that, just type Cruise Ships into a Facebook search. Now, um, Marita's question is, can you bring a 12 pack of Coca-Cola on the ship? Now, the easy answer is yes, you can. Uh, the longer answer is uh, it'll vary depending on the cruise line. Now, obviously, she's posted this in a carnival group, so it's obviously relevant to carnival cruise line. Most of the major cruise lines have a very similar pro policy. Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Holland America, Celebrity, where you can bring on a, a 12 pack of cool drinks. Now, if you look at the other photo here, perhaps you can see this. This is the uh, pack of sodas that you can get at most grocery stores. They're the standard sealed 12 pack. They're actually kind of called a fridge pack. You can tear the front open and slide it in your fridge at home. Now, the reason why Marita uh, specified Coca-Cola is if you aren't aware, Carnival Cruise Line uh, a couple of years ago changed over from Coca-Cola products to Pepsi products. Now, the uh, cruise line at the time copped a little bit of flack for that because obviously there's a lot of seasoned cruisers that are so used to Coke as their kind of drink of Coke products, I guess, as their drinks. And when they suddenly changed to Pepsi, they kind of gave a little bit of a, you know, a uh, changeover period. I think it was like maybe three or four months or so for the ships to run out of it and then restock with the Pepsi products. But obviously a lot of people have a favorite, Coke or Pepsi. I'm actually a, Pep I'm actually a Coca-Cola man myself. Uh, I rarely, rarely drink uh, Pepsi. Uh, so when it did change, working on cruise ships, of course, the, they went from Coca-Cola in every bar and uh, crew bar on board to not having it at all. So I had to find a bit of a source for it as well. Now, the 12 pack uh, you can bring on, but it has to be as a carry on only. Now that's super important. It can't be in a check bag, particularly when you turn up at the cruise terminal and want to put your uh, bag through the uh, luggage system where they bring it to your stateroom. It has to be carried on literally under your arm or on your in your hand. Or uh, Ideally, a lot of people would just rest it on top of their wheeling luggage. And then when they get to the security, they put their bag through, put the sodas through. And it's super important that you make sure it's uh, sealed as you would have bought it from the shop and it's not been tampered with or opened. They may want to kind of have a look at it and see if you've done anything by switching the products inside. Uh, now, of course, it doesn't have to be only Coca-Cola. It could be any brand you like. It could be diet-free, cherry, cola, Fanta, whatever is the uh, favorite of your choice. Of course, I would imagine Narita is a cola fan and doesn't like Pepsi on board. So Narita, you can bring it on board. Just make sure it's here as a carry on. I'm gonna just repeat that a couple of times. Make sure you don't put it in any sealed or check bag that you're not going to be able to walk on the ship yourself. Now, the other thing too is if you're cruising as a family or with friends, you could bring 12 per person. So if maybe you've got some kids or maybe a friend who maybe isn't planning to bring any on, maybe uh, buy an extra case and get them just to carry it on for you. And then obviously once you get on board, put it in your own room or whatever you wish. Uh, I always see, uh, particularly on embarkation day, a lot of families walking around initially when they get on the ship. And you'll see each kid or child with a 12 pack each on their luggage. Uh, maybe they've chosen their favorite one to bring that's not, say, the normal Pepsi products like on the ship. And of course, you can probably pick up a, a cheap 12 pack for 3 or $5 at most grocery stores or pharmacies in the US, uh, which are very cheap if you were to compare it to the per can price on board. So nice and easy, Marita, you can bring one on board. Just make sure it's as a carry on only and make sure you've not opened or broken the seal of the 12 pack. Just in case they want to have a look, see that you might have switched it 
Now, uh, in the years gone by, a lot of people do actually figure out ways to get around some of the policies. They take out the Cokes and put in cans of beer uh, and different sort of methods. And the cruise lines are kind of get wise to that, especially the security in the cruise terminals. And they do sort of notice where people have scotch taped up their box and things like that. So try not to do that at all. Just keep it as you bought it from the store and walk it right on the ship. Now, uh, Marita and uh, all of the cruise, uh, I like cruise ship uh, subscribers to the channel. Thanks for watching uh, these videos. I hope you find them helpful. Uh, they're something that I actually really enjoy doing and making new videos for everybody, uh, particularly uh, based on people's questions. It's obviously a lot easier to answer specific questions. Uh, if you aren't a subscriber and you want to click subscribe and the notification bell, uh, you'll be able to see new videos as I post them. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I'm going to post a new video for you to watch, maybe two new videos, I think. You can check them out right here on the side of uh, this ending of the video. And I hope this was a helpful uh, question and answer video for everybody. Thanks for watching I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.